Welcome back everyone to part 57 of the Mass Effect Legendary Edition playthrough. Uh, I said that very fast, so I don't think anyone heard it, but <laughs> all is well. As I run upstairs so I can do another side mission and then cry. Because I'll probably die. Um, how? <laughs> do, do those two random people have names? Arcturus is a massive sun, holy shit. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, yay. Like the little jet beam, that's a beam. I know. I guess my next stop is. Which is. Have I been to Anos Basin yet? I don't think so. I think that's new. <laughs> oh, yes, this is enough. Oh, okay, yeah, you have been here. You were here for something. Uh. To Tuchanka again. For one of the 27. Yeah. <laughs> I'd imagine there's war assets in Nith, right? Yeah. Probably. Probably Nith. Yeah, it's I think this is one of the ones that has multiple, like, destroyed fuel depots mm. in it. Yeah. There for a minute I thought he only gave me four dice. Yeah. I have no idea. Maybe there isn't anything here in the broken jeans. Successful. So how was that for a close call, Sid? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> fuel depot's goal. The fuel depot. So I'm gonna go to my space gas station. This crash site's a nightmare. Edie, try to raise Lieutenant Victus. Yes, sir. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. And that it's his son to, yeah. is bad for Don't the prime market. Promoting family no. without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the prime mark knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the oh. Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this yeah. platoon. <laughs> Oh boy, it's a big Edie, 
Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. Things get worse by the minute. My men are dying. This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than I feel. Are we on? Yeah. A secret to the survivors, the right? Is especially odd. Thoughts? Nothing has come up through any uh, of my networks. Fuck. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. I was double checking which mission we were on. But then I saw the prompt for, um, Victus. Oh, shit. Garrus, are you on the wrong gun? No, you have intimate here. Just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. Good to know for future note that harvesters go big boom when you kill them. Keep moving. Yep. We need to find the main crash site ASAP. I completely forgot about that, but yeah. Being the son of Adrian Victus is a lot to live up to. It's a decent little assault rifle from what I recall. I don't know how it compares on the top of my head. Whenever he changes weapon, he automatically defaults to it. Pain. It's a big military name on Paladin. Mm -hmm. When we come here to the castle, I can't believe that. Girl. Children shouldn't be burdened with the successes of their parents any more than their families. First one to have a window for a that thing guard got obliterated. I couldn't hear you over the harvester going nuclear. Could you repeat that? <laughs> Shepard here. What's your status? Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. How's our velocity? Decelerate the line. We'll survive. Victus is going to pay for this. Go, 
Wait, what? Is it a machine gun still? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it still has all of its weaponry. I think it's kind of like it can use this weapon, and while that's on cooldown, it uses this weapon. Logic. Yes, it is. I'm going to just drop arms, throw my head. That's not allowed. Well, oh, time to see what a. I really hope harvesters don't have HP regen. Calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts. But you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask, but your men signed on for it. And so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men, I own what happened here today, but we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turing, and we will not let Cerberus succeed. 
our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. We gotta stop the bomb. Can't have them detonating that bomb. The bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. <laughs> Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that. Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? It doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> And oh, that was probably very loud on the mic. And that's all. <laughs> Come on, Which, everybody. There is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. <laughs> Eternal updated. A chunk of bomb. <laughs> Here it is, the Nairobi. That's what I got. Nairobi cruising. Uh, Nar Nairobi. Uh, I vaguely recall that one. In the, I know I've picked it up a couple times. Wait, do I have enough money? You should have enough for close. I'm two thousand dollars short. I guess you're doing one more mission. Guess it's time to go defuse that bomb. So, or you're bombing what's left of your own planet. They make their own soldiers out of our civilians. They don't have supply lines. How do you beat something like that? I'll let you know if they think hey. Well, we know they got a shit ton of stuff. Okay, bomb. Yep, the bomb. That's in jeans. The clay mod. I guess it's not really this. Actually, is this very ammo even really help in you on this instance? Duh, I have no clue. Oh wait, no, it's spare ammo, that's... It's just more ammo than it probably is. Thank Normandy Shuttle, this is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. 
This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago. After the Krogan That's rebellions. Fun, baby. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. <laughs> but right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th platoon will cover your flight, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Yeah, it's in Slicer. I think it might be this mission where you can get the um, enhanced power generators that the Citadel needs to burn a lot of energy on, um, oh god. You almost got wrecked, as the kids say. <laughs> By a fucking shotgun at that. Yeah. Console. The oh, there you go, there's your monies. Those are fun, um, great by the way. Mod, whatever you want to call them. If I remember right, heat sink is just a chance when you're firing that the bullet doesn't count. So it kind of works on the same process as ME1's um, overheat system. Sort of. Except for, you know, it's a chance to pistol scope. Argo team. That's a big old bomb. I think that's the drill, Sid. I think that's the bomb. <laughs> I, I don't know. The way this cutscene plays out, and I do remember this, is that it feels like that's the bomb in the middle. The very top of that might be like the claw after they drilled it in to grab it, you know? I don't know. How do I get down? Uh... I don't oh. recall, actually. Oh. Oh, yes, you have to take a ladder up so you can get down. <laughs> Fucking video game logic. Ooh, sniper rifle con, too. 
What's really fun is if you're a soldier with adrenaline rush and you have a concentration module on your sniper rifle, you can basically make time stop for a few seconds. It's great. Why did they design that? Oh, hold up. There was a thing to your side with that terminal. No, oh, just money. Oh, at least you got money. Looks like control schematics for automated turrets. No good now, but they might be useful later. That's something you can turn it in. I do remember that much. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Nothing. Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. So, fun fact, I think if this, if you failed this, or if you didn't do this side mission, the bomb just detonates after you deal with the Gen F Age care. Defend Victus, no matter the cost. Oh, you leveled up, Fox. I don't think I have enough points for anything, though. Right, well, I do. Oh. Hello. I don't know why you would ever do melee synergy, that just seems too, like, too much effort to make it work, you know? Fair enough. Oh, hey, Garrus can upgrade to top punk shot again. Garrus, if you fire your conk <laughs> shot, whatever gets hit is fucking dead. <laughs> oh, hello? 100% faster singularity? Okay, I'll take that. I won't say no to singularity charging fast. Yeah, considering singularity is one of the best moves for a biotic to have. He needs more time. I wonder what mission I'm thinking of then that has the fucking... The, oh no, I remember where I'm thinking of. I think it is on the Genophage mission, maybe. It's on some mission on Tuchunk, I swear to god, I remember like there being a power thing. Fortunately... As I was reading, I'm like 99% sure if you miss any pick in like quest objective pickup, you can pay like a thousand credits and the spectators will get it for you. Shepard! Take that thing down. Now. Oh, I heard Atla deployed. Oh, hello, buddy. Atlas deployed. Isn't Atlas that one bad game? You mean the, the shitty arc? Yeah. 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 I know it should be an arc. I know I'm just too good at this game, but how long is this gonna take? He still hasn't gotten shot once. Oh, maybe? Down. I'm in. Spirit. He's in. Hacked the oh shit! Mechanism. It's set to detonate. Disarm it. No time. I have to separate the trigger from the bomb now. Cover me. Makes me wonder how large the blast radius is now they took it out of the ground. You know? Probably most of Chonka. You think that's what it is? Like it's the fucking that big of a nuke? Probably. At least by the size of that bomb. Yeah, you know. Considering what they mentioned and all, it probably is. Good soldier. Lieutenant! 
You know what they say about good soldiers? That didn't seem. Oh, because that wasn't the, the bomb itself, I guess. I don't know. Commander, I've got radio chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. <laughs> the Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. <laughs> he never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice and more is expected. He did us proud, but we're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Pack it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey! We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primarch, you had a bomb on Tichunka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today, making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you've made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. This kind of reminds me of a scene <sighs> Ben 10. Oh, no. I understand your so, reservations before. You know the, the hybrid in but Ben 10, right? Now. Yes. The main villain of Alien Force. Secrets get people killed. Uh, so an yes. ultimate alien, sometime after um, yes. Limey takes over as the hybrid commander, he finds out there was a um, a secret hybrid weapon on Earth that was accidentally activated. So the hybrid in charge of that weapon was, you know, doing his job because he was in hibernation until ordered to to detonate the weapon and destroy the planet, basically. I wanted to thank you for that. <laughs> and, um, the sacrifice will be recorded in the history. Eventually, of the he finds out that no, he needs to shut it down because they're not at war. Yes, sir. Or, or it's long over, and then there are no other weapons on Earth. And if I knew of any, I'd let you know. And he kind of like pauses for a second, and is like, but I will double check. <laughs> Almost like in case there's another one in there. And it's just, it kind of reminds me of this situation with Tuchunka in that, like, yeah, the Primarch knew about, or like, sure, yeah, the Primarch knew, whereas the hybrid didn't, because they forgot. Because they're the fucking hybrid and they forget shit at times, I guess. I feel like I would remember every, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too hard in that it makes more sense to remember, remember things. Uh, what's your... did, did you hear their idle chatter, Sid? Yeah, how they were talking about the war effort. 
No, they were talking about how they were stuck there guarding the door, and then one of them oh, mentioned yeah. the collectors. Uh, yeah, the collectors everyone. kidnapped the crew, and they're like, oh, damn, so we gotta be ready for anything. <laughs> Proceeds to not have a rifle. Commander Shepard, my name is Jessica Fromm. You saved my life on betting. I've lost so many friends in all this, but I find hope in the idea that their memory lives on in me. I know I'm just one woman, but I wanted to let you know you're making a real difference. Bless you, Commander Jessica Fromm. The CIC, I see. Hey, Esteban, for your being so stubborn, you know, you oh, yeah, here it is. Well, I think this is the dialogue I'm thinking of. Systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you okay, think. No, it's not this dialogue, but there is one later on. Too. That last job with the chunk was intense. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. Isn't it weird to me to think of the shuttle providing fire support? Got some real interesting mm -hmm. stories to tell. Like, I, I know the shuttle has a couple of guns on it, but I don't think it has that many guns that it's a air support weapon. Well, it has this on both sides. This is a gun. Oh yeah, because that folds out, doesn't it? No, this is, is just the gun. No. Yeah, that's just the front-mounted turret. But then it also has like a turret in the inside that they can pull out. I have no clue. I think there's something about it because I remember someone mentions it in the lore, and they dis and the reason they don't use the turret on the inside much is because it's not armored on the inside. So when they open up, it's just a huge risk. Or maybe that's why they don't open the doors. I don't remember. I just rem I'm pretty sure I remember like a. A shuttle sequence where you can use a fucking machine gun on the side of it. Adam's ready to do his thing. Wondering, like, I sort of got someone in here. <laughs> Adam's is fake. He's not real. Yeah, Adam's is fake. He's retired. Destroyed and the Alliance Parliament feared dead. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. You know, that is the one thing I do look forward to in the future. People won't have to have tons of makeup on for okay. the camera. Because the camera will be enough. I still I still can get over the fact that the Space Jam was just running around big chilling down here. And how I've never noticed him. What? What do you think? <laughs> I mean, what? I got 20. I couldn't say five. I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Embarrassing now. But a genius back then. <laughs> Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, a bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. <laughs> For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. <laughs> ah, Shepard, we were just. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Far less painful than tissue sampling. Yep. Don't okay. remind me. I think you enjoyed doing that. Shepard, please. Oh, Distractions okay. counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. <laughs> you can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's release my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. 
But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority, will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <coughs> you got a quad, Doctor. <coughs> Keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. <laughs> Maybe with an inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzing process would fail. Severe neurological damage. Never mind. What are you talking about? Method to extract functional cure without killing you. Many variables. Your immune system compromised. Considering options. <laughs> and you have to do it out loud? Yes. Auditory oh, learner. Need to hear self think. Simulate conversation to promote yeah. new ideas. Yeah. And maximize productivity. What you're talking about? Oh, yeah, I have all friends. Oh, apologies. Medical details causing emotional distress. I hadn't considered effect on patient. No, it just means I can't sleep. Doing my best to keep you alive. <laughs> we'll avoid sensitive subjects. I can just grab this and I'd have the ability, right? Yes. Can I have multiple or just one? No, it's just one. Okay. I don't think you can ever do anything in the AI core in ME3. Life, I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left. Oh, really, like, aside of having a lot to do moment, you can't do anything in this that. one. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now, but perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. <laughs> Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half a Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Kogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned oh. into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that you can tell him. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it, but I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future. Like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry men. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. 
what else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. How has Morton been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Salarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. Yeah, I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borcha offspring have an allergy to dairy and a da 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 How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachanka. Her spirit would be the midwife to my firstborn. I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. We learned that He's too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric right, as he went. Have, we finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. <laughs> Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately, detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. What can you tell me about no, the many? Climate regulator. Counteracts radiation damage to Tuchanka's atmosphere from nuclear war. Particles emitted from main tower form layer that mitigates ultraviolet bombardment, prevents atmospheric escape of necessary elements. Okay. Did your people put it up? Yes, when uplift process began. Demonstration of goodwill to Krogan. Stabilized climate, impressed Not population. Kidding. Combined with technological gifts, easy to gain Krogan support against Rachni. So, you did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat okay, me without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachanka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Okay. Victims okay. didn't die for nothing. So, the end justifies the means? Not my means. But you're using the data. Encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now if possible. Unless he could help. No. You've always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never change mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for an experience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete. Like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. 
Gland substitution imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well. Tune hormone production. Long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. <laughs> you care about her? My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm wow. restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. Nice talking with you, Borden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. All right. So let's skip from this episode. Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure. Work against collectors. Decisions, <laughs> mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny. Sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> Morden is such a great character. Like, especially knowing him now from the context of ME2, don't you just, like, appreciate the discussions with him more? I don't even cool remember the original time I talked. I don't even remember talking to him. In Mother, the original run of you might not have talked to him much. Well, I probably didn't. I don't know. I didn't even talk to Garrus much. I don't in even the know. Run. <laughs> you probably like did like once on your first playthrough, and then like to free up time, you didn't in later ones. Also, so go ahead and do your outro. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Swell Mom, and I will. Be doing it. Watching us. Have a good time. This will be the end of this episode. Don't even remember what part it is, but it'll be the end of it. Uh, hope you all have a good rest of your day, and hope to see you in the next episode. Peace.